G'day Pisces, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. I'm back. Hope you all had a good break. Good Chrissy and New Year's. Alright, let's get into it. All the decks pre-shuffled. And the decks I'm using today are listed below in the description box. Alright, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. And we got them. That was quick. That's good. Because I'm a bit slow. <laughs> Trying to get back into it. <laughs> Take a break and... You know what it's like. <laughs> Getting back into the flow of it. Alright. Clarify card number one, please. For the love energy coming towards Pisces. Gonna get used to shuffling again. I'm not back home yet, but I am back. Card number one, clarify. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Right, I'm just going to put them like that. <laughs> Card number two. And card number three. Oh, this table's wobbling. It's probably wobbling the camera. I'm really sorry. Giving and learning. Hmm. I think all three water signs have had this card. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. But they've all been different meanings. Three of Wands. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Hmm. The Strength card. Hearing Ego. The Fool. And the King of Cups, that's your card. I think this one's looking for forgiveness. Yeah. Bugger. Yeah, they're waiting for things to move to calmer waters after they cheated. Yeah, because they want you to forgive them. But the ego says they can fool you again. Bugger. <coughs> I'm sorry, Pisces. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Mm, see, they're waiting. I told you they're waiting. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. They're waiting for long term stability and commitment. <sighs> waiting for you to become stable again and ready for another commitment before they come in. Oh, ready for a commitment, yeah. They're waiting for you to become stable. Again, yeah, waiting for the stability and for you to be ready to commit to them again. Oh, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take. King of Wands. Then they'll, yeah, and then they'll make the effort to... I'm hearing ego again. Passionate, passion and action is one's energy, control, yeah, they'll make the effort to control the passion and the actions that they take towards you. <clears throat> Do 
King of Wands knows what he wants and gets it. Uh, male or female, yeah. But he's all about he's about ego and passion. <sighs> then they'll make the yeah they'll make the effort to come in all controlled and but to contr try and control the passion and the action between you two. It's taking a lot of effort for them to control themselves right now because they're waiting for you to become more stable. I'm feeling this is your energy, male or female. And that's you. As the King of Cups, male or female. They think they can fool you again and not show any, not hold back their emotions, control their emotions. Waiting for you to have that stability because you have that long term stability. And for them to come in and have it. And at the start they'll make the effort to control themselves. But. Yeah. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Like this is not a new one. Past life relationship. Yeah. They want to come in and have new love with you. Have you love them again. Like it's all brand new. Like you did in the past. But it's selfishness. Love yourself first. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together because it is a yeah, it's gonna be a whole uh, uh, it's a honeymoon thing for them. It's a temporary thing for them. It's all about temporary satisfaction for themselves, like was in the past. They want to bring yeah. <laughs> Two of Swords, Two of Cups, yep, <laughs> they're still not making a decision about if there's going to be love between you two. They're not going to make a, a decision. They're not going to say no and they're not going to say yes. They're going to leave you hanging again. The Death Guard and the Ace of Wands. Because they want this to transform back into that passionate beginning again, wand action again. So they'll make the effort to be all suave and you know, so forth to get back in, but they'll never make the choice to turn this into love. They just want this to um, transform into uh, the passionate connection that they had with you before. They want the wand action. You're waiting for you to become stable again. They want you to forgive them so they can come in and fool you again. Ah, this piece of crap. I wish they'd go away. What happened to that nice energy we had for you <coughs> last year? That was, well, <coughs> probably about a month or so, a month ago, a bit over a month ago, there was something nice coming in. What, they scare them off? Yeah, don't let the past hold you back. No, they're not. They're not letting what they did in the past hold them back. They just think they can wait. And then you'll forgive them. And they can come back and have what they want again. Same as before. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, three more cards for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Two more. One more. One more, please. Thank you. Okay. Damn it, Pisces. I thought you were going to hit something better for the new year. But no. Hanging around, thinking that yeah, they're just waiting. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Clarify card number two. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Let me see. plan is nothing will come of this situation void of course moon yes they know they know nothing's gonna ha nothing's gonna come out of it they just they just want to get what they want they're not looking for love knight of swords yep fly in fly out fast as they can nothing's gonna come of it it's a honeymoon it's a holiday fling it's they want to come they're waiting for you to settle down and become more stable, ready for them to come in and slice you up one more time. But, you know, they don't see it going anywhere. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Mm, what's this about? Six of Cups, Five of Cups. And five of swords. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. They're afraid to approach now because they know what the damage they've done in the past, all the disappointment that they've caused, and the mind games and manipulation and sabotaging of the connection. They are afraid because of what they've done in the past. Hmm. But they'll, they'll work through that because it's like, oh well, they put up with it before. Will they put up? They'll put up with it again. Even though they fear it's not. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, they are worried. Surrender to the divine, full moon. They're hoping you'll surrender to them. Let's see what we've got. Page of Cups, yep, the apology. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. The Empress. Alright, this said stop. Okay. So yeah, they're hoping that you'll surrender and, yeah, if they apologise that you'll drop your guard because you got your guard up and offer them something stable. And want to grow something with them. If they apologise. The High Priestess. <sighs> Three of Cups. Page of Swords. And the Sun. Yeah. But they're still keeping secrets about third parties. Or, you know. They'll, they'll still be keeping a secret. that they, They're just partying with you. Playing with you. Putting you in third party situations. Because they've got their eye out. They're watching. Looking out for other people. Keeping their eye on those party people. But they keep it a secret from you. Because that's what makes them happy. And that will be what will make them happy. They can still keep partying and playing around behind your back. Looking out for someone new to party with in secret. But, yeah, having you surrender to them. And offer that stability to the base for them again. You know, they can add you to their, back to, on their list. Ah, oh, they're just a dirtbag. Bottom of the deck, have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. End of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn, and bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. See, they have faith that they can get what they want here. They expect that they can, you know, oh, all they have to do to end this cycle and change things is to bring a bit of love into the situation. But it's an illusion. It's not real love. What's next? Show the world the real you. Yeah, you see the real them. <clears throat> love isn't there. Mm. Bottom of this deck. Six of Wands. Attention. Seeking the attention. Hangman, but yeah. Not going anywhere. 
Knight of Pentacles and the Death card. Yeah. They are just seeking that uh, glory and attention and their ego to be stroked here. Because it's not going anywhere. This is a dead end. You know, any any motion, any actions of stability and it's over. They'll end it. Because they're not looking for it to go anywhere. They just want attention. <sighs> Bugger. Alright, let's see what they have to say. Let's see what crap they're going to try and <laughs> con you back in with. Uh, give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Pisces, please. one more please thank you <laughs> oh it's gone on the floor first one I can't do this anymore yeah it's what they oh I can't do this anymore I just want to be with you Pisces <laughs> I'm afraid you will reject me. Oh yeah, there is that fear that you you're you're like I'm not being nah, because they know they've hurt you too much in the past. We belong together, <sighs> and I wish things were different. Yeah, I wish things were different, and you did all this stuff didn't happen. Is yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I love holding you. I should have told you how I felt. I buried myself in work to forget you. I love you. Yeah, this is all crap. <laughs> this is all crap they're going to say. I love holding you. should have told you how I felt. Oh, it's been so hard for me to forget you. I love you. Oh, it's just making me feel sick. Ugh. Because it's all just a con. It's manipulation. Hmm. Oh, dear Pisces. All right, let's get a message for you. Guidance and advice for Pisces, please. In the universe. Oh, there we go. Is it just one? It is. Accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way. Get out of the way and let heaven help you. Wow. Hmm. So, basically, yeah. Whatever you've asked for help about, whatever you prayed or asked for help about to the universe or the heaven, whatever it is you believe in, let it happen. Get out of the way. And if it comes to this person and they try coming in, just step back. Because I think, yeah, don't go, don't, don't engage, is what I'm hearing. Don't engage, just step back. And, yeah, they'll stuff it up themselves. Because they can't help themselves. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity, which is what, the, what they are, basically. A negative aspect in your life like they're not yeah I'd, nah. so surround yourself with positive people and situations and I think that will just help that will help to block them 
and avoid any neg avoid the negativity as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm hearing that, you know, get out of the way because heaven's trying to help you and to bring you in something good. So don't even engage in this past energy. I mean, it's up to you, but you know, I mean, it's all here. They're coming to do it again. They're waiting for you to settle down and get stable again so they can come back and do the exactly the same thing and secretly have third parties behind your back and look out for more of them because that's what... Mm. <sighs> you deserve so much better than this. Mm. All right, Pisces. Well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, be nice in the comments, all that good stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.